Hello, I'm Roger Bisbee, and I want to show you how to fit a flashing onto a key light window. You've got to choose the right flashing for your roof covering, either slate or tile, and we're also going to fit that felt collar. Now this can be done from the outside if you've got scaffolding, but it can be done just as easily from the inside, just by removing the glazed sash. Now a relatively recent addition to roof windows is the felt collar which is designed to improve the air tightness and also the waterproofing by integrating with the breather membrane. If you're old school, you might wonder what this is all about. So I'm just gonna show you, go through the process so you can see what's involved. Now I know from my time out on site that there's a lot of people who never bother fitting this bit. You often see them in the skip and they're thinking, okay, if you haven't got a slip tile or a slate, why do you need to bother with that? But actually now we've got breather membranes. They're doing a different job to the old sarking felt. Now a breather membrane is taking moisture from inside the building onto the outside. And of course you're getting those droplets of water running down there almost all year round. And that can lead to problems if those droplets of water accumulate over the years behind the window, they can start to soak the insulation and cause damp patches on the inside. So it's very important that we do this job. And once you've done it a couple of times, there's nothing to it. So now I've got this felt collar on, all I've got to do is tile up. I say all I've got to do because everybody knows that it varies according to what tiles you're using and sometimes you've got more cutting to do than the other, but hopefully this will work out quite nicely for me. Now I reckon that when people are tiling up around roof windows, the biggest mistake a lot of them make is that they don't get this dimension right here. It's a very easy dimension. From the top of that batten to the top of the one below is 100 millimeters for tiles. So if you do that, everything is gonna fit nicely into place. And the other thing I like to do is just skin these off slightly, chamfer the tops of the tiles just to make that sit. But actually, in this case, it sits perfectly well. And of course, you always fix that top row of tiles in place before you put this apron on but I'll just show you how the apron goes on for now and you can see that it fits quite nicely and snugly over there we can take the double-sided tape off and dress that into the rolls in a minute Now another thing you sometimes see is people over torquing these screws. They put them in too tightly and distort the flashing. So if you use your torque setting, make sure you don't over tighten them. Another thing I really like about fitting key light windows is that you've got instructions actually on the product. So you're not looking around for a piece of paper that's blown away in the wind. And this instruction here tells you that you've got to bring the side flashing down to that red line. So following our little trail of instructions up here, we can see that uh, we've got to pull these clips out and those clips hold this hood in place. So we haven't got to hold it at the same time as we try and screw it in. Now 
Okay, the last bit now, which is the back gutter or top apron as some people call it. And this is fairly familiar to most people. Clip in there, make sure it's nicely in there and engaged in the edge here. Now, to tell you the truth, I think the real skill in fitting roof windows is when you come to integrate it with the roof covering because all that lot is designed in a factory. It's all gonna work, but when you come to fit the roof tiles, you've really got to think about what you're doing. Try and get those cuts in the right position and just make sure that you've got a nice watertight seal. You can see that we've managed to put make the cut here just behind the ridge. So all we've now got to do is cut the foam so that the foam sits down and forms a nice weather tight seal. So we just line that up with there and profile the foam up if you think that it's in the way and that the tile won't sit down properly just give it a haircut and then you can see that that sits down nicely there so all I've got to do double sided tape off there And then we make sure that no wind blown rain or anything can get in under the tiles. And once I fix that in place, from there on, it should be plain sailing. So now it's all tiled all the way around. All I've got to do, the final job, is to dress this front apron down into the pantiles, into the rolls, the dips so that the wind doesn't get underneath and blow it up. And there's a little self-adhesive strip underneath which is gonna help it stick to the tiles over the course of time. So I hope you found these videos useful and informative. And if you want further information about the Keylight range, you can find it on their website where you can also find out about local stockists. So I'm Roger Bisbee. Thanks very much for watching.